With much of the world watching the Ukraine crisis with ever-growing concern, South Korean President Moon Jae-in convened a meeting of the National Security Council earlier, saying the situation in Ukraine was becoming urgent. This was after we woke up to the news that Russian President Vladimir Putin had ordered the deployment of troops to breakaway regions in Ukraine amid fears of a full-blown war as shelling in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine has been intensifying. And leading today's meeting, President Moon insisted South Korea will participate in peace efforts. President Moon also highlighted international sanctions and it's no surprise that Seoul is supporting global efforts given that in 2014 this country also refused to recognize Russia's move to annex Ukraine's Crimea. But what if the situation worsens? We know Seoul has been closely coordinating with the US in recent days. For instance, Foreign Minister Chong Yong discussed the Russia-Ukraine standoff as a key topic during recent talks with his American and Japanese counterparts, according to Mark Lambert, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Korea and Japan. While addressing a forum last week, he suggested that the world is so intertwined that Seoul can hardly ignore global developments, although the US has stopped short of demanding military support from its ally South Korea, with both Lambert and the Pentagon insisting it's up to Seoul to decide. President Moon also called for efforts to protect South Korean nationals in Ukraine and respond to economic damage. These are the immediate threats to Seoul's interests, given that dozens of South Koreans were still in Ukraine as of Sunday evening, excluding diplomatic officials. As the government here has been working to ensure their safety, temporary offices have been set up in both Ukraine and Poland to support their evacuation. On the economic side, there are South Korean businesses operating in Ukraine to consider, as well as the potential impact on energy and grain prices. This country has been trying to secure supply chains by diversifying import channels, securing additional stockpiles of major raw materials, energy and other key items, and expanding domestic production. Market volatility is an additional concern, with South Korea's benchmark Dubai crude soaring since the start of this year and local stocks hurting as the Cosby opened sharply lower this morning, along with a general global mood.